Hi there. Uh, today I'm going to show you how to start a business in California. And this video is only meant to be the most general kind of introduction to the various processes you're going to encounter while trying to start your business, be it a corporation, LLC, LP, GP, LLP, or SP. It's what we in the biz call a sole proprietorship. Now, uh, the first uh, step you're going to make, no matter what kind of business you're going to want to do, is to kind of pick a name, something you think that's got real zing to it, uh, especially if it's a storefront or uh, a new brand you're, you're trying to come up with. For an LLC, it might, might be less pertinent. But um, regardless, the name does have to be legally unique and uh, uh, available. And so, like most states, California has a business database that you can search through all the names. Now, this isn't considered uh, official. So, um, if you look in here, you, you search your name, you don't find anything. It doesn't mean that the name is reserved for you. It doesn't mean that it's even available. Uh, if you want to make an official inquiry into the availability of the name, uh, you, under our name reservation section, you can um, see there's the name availability inquiry that uh, it looks like, it looks just like this. this is a, a letter you send them. And uh, I think it's something like $4, uh, but check, check our name reservation video for the official figure. It's not much though. And the idea is that you submit that to them uh, whether or not a name is available, they'll get back to you, and uh, and then and then if you want to go ahead and reserve it, there's a whole other set of forms and whatnot also available on our site that you can use to do that. So once you have your name, um, is to uh, once you have your name, you have to decide exactly what kind of entity you're going to be registering. Now in California, there's a lot of options I think in a regular amount uh, as you can see here this is just corporations uh, there's general professional close nonprofit religious nonprofit public the list goes on and on and there's uh, a few repeated for foreign they're a bit less specific with the foreign corporations two different types of LLCs and all of these partnerships uh, so you kind of decide the structure that you're or you know figure out which one of these categories most aptly describes the structure of your business as it stands right now, or your entity. So you do that, and then uh, you click on any one of these, and it'll take you to a page specifying exactly for that exact kind of entity how to go about forming it with the state of California. Uh, and you'll have to file forms, and uh, if, it, if it's a corporation, you'll have to file a uh, statement of information, and there's, you know, there's different steps for different things, but the essential thing is you file it. It's always through the mail. It's always to the office of the Secretary of State. Uh, if you decide to hand it in in person, there's always a special handling fee, uh, which can go from five to fifteen dollars, depending on which form it is. And um, it seems like you also will get your form back later uh, than you would otherwise. So it's you know, I, I personally it seems like the mail would be the way to go. If you're skittish about mail, hand it in in person. But that's just me. Now. As for the filing fees, uh, as you can see here, there's uh, the corporations, unless it's nonprofit, are all 100. Uh, that goes for foreign as well. LLCs are 70. All the partnerships are 70, except for foreign general, because it's a very, it's a very basic kind of uh, form that you're going to be submitting. So it, you know, it, and you're, not, it's not getting you much. So it's only 25. Now, I went over name reservation before, so that's, again, just uh, whenever you're going to reserve the name for your company, uh, these are the steps you will go through. Uh, certificate of status. Now, in most states, this is called a certificate of good standing. In California, they don't call it that because they'll give you the certificate, and your standing may not be good. It may be uh, canceled or whatever, you know, de delegitimized or... Let me see. I actually have the form right here, so let's find out. I want to make sure you people have the best information. Let's see here. Uh, active, suspended, canceled, etc., etc., etc. So you might get good standing, which would probably be active, but otherwise, that's what you're going to be looking at. 
Then there's the agreements you're going to be looking at. Uh, now, for corporations, you have bylaws. For LLCs, you have the operating agreements. For partnerships, you have a partnership agreement. In California, the only one that's legally required is bylaws for corporate entities. So the rest are just uh, a good idea for you. And so we don't, you know, we recommend that you do all of them, but it's not a necessity to do anything other than the corporate bylaws. Uh, and we have instructions go on each of these on how to, uh, you know, go about them exactly. We offer free templates if you'd like to use them. Uh, they're at, for your disposal for free. Uh, finally, the EIN, the Employment Identification Number, if you want to do anything as a business financially, even as something as simple as applying for a credit card, you'll need an Employment Identification Number. You can get them via online application or with a PDF application from the IRS. Uh, and we also have information on them right there. So that's all you need to know about starting a business in California in the most general sense. Please see our other videos for more detailed information.